Hey guys, Panzer Kunst here, and uh, welcome to my cheap little review of the Lag 3 Series 4. It's a Russian Tier 4 multi role fighter, and I figured to just pick something simple and easy just to try to get the hang of this. But in uh, thinking about reviewing planes, I came up with four things that I'm going to rate each, uh, give a rating out of five, and then add them up to get a uh, final score and then kind of see where it lands on the scale of how I think this plane performs. And it's basically going to uh, compare each plane for its tier and for its class. So for example, I'm only going to compare this against other tier 4 multi rolls. So I've looked at all the, uh, the, all, all the stats, without, don't need to bore you with that. But uh, altitude performance. Maximum optimal of 800. Uh, the best planes are the Americans, the P-43. Uh, it has about a thousand, so it doesn't do too well. Not really, no plane at tier four is really known for altitude. But the biggest problem that I see with this plane in regards to altitude is uh, the stall speed, which is right here, 150 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast considering other planes have about 120 or even like I think the AR-197 has about it's under 100 so once you're if you ever need to climb up for everything it's gonna be hard to get up there because you don't have a lot of engine power and you're gonna stall out basically so in regards to altitude I'm gonna give this a 3 3 out of 5 the next one is speed and surprisingly it's pretty decent on its speed see uh, the way I have what I have set up here it's a uh, 340 cruise, 535 boost, and a pretty decent uh, max dive speed, even though you hardly will ever get to it. But in regards to the other tier 4 multi rolls out there, uh, it's, it's on the higher end. So for its speed rating, I'm going to give that a 4. Firepower, and this is, in my opinion, the main uh, attribute to this one. You got a 20 millimeter, a 50 cal, and two 30 cals, and together they deal 191 cumulative damage. And you got pretty good distance on the 20, even though I won't, I wouldn't shoot at this range. I'll wait till you till you get to about 500, maybe, where your other guns can come into play. So you see, this one has a five 500 meter effective range, and the 30s are even lower. So I would wait to fire to about 500. Uh, meters to kind of get the full effect and in regards to its firepower I'm going to give that a 5 out of 5 and moving on to turn or maneuverability I think in this tier uh, you really got to give it to the the, the AR-197 from Germany that one is really the uh, uh, look at that maneuverability 83 so there's no way this plane could ever really uh, dream about uh, about turning with this guy. And see the stall speed, 70, as opposed to the lag 3 has 150. So in regards to its turn, I'm uh, you know not a very good performer in that aspect. But what really uh, what it can hold its own against is the Americans, because uh, those tier fours. 58 rating and uh, 65 so it's a little better so I'm just gonna call it about average in regards to that and I'm gonna give that a 3 for its turn so just a quick look at the uh, equipment that you can get on this for the outboard weapons I just threw on a rocket sight just for the simple reason that I can increase uh, the d damage of the rockets but nothing else is really uh, a good, I don't think anything else is a really good choice. You don't, obviously don't have any bombs, strength and heart points. You can get your rockets to reload faster, but you lose the little speed that you have. And for the airframe, I just went with the uh, lightweight ring frame to help the maneuverability out a little bit. I don't think this is really a, anything you want to do. Uh, if you just want some more speed, you can definitely go here. And cockpit, there's really only one choice in the lower tiers. Uh, you just get a gun sight. 
And as you can see, you have one slot for the cockpit, the airframe, the gun, and bombs. So you could just choose whichever ones you like. Uh, I like the first aid kit, and if I run into a, a fighter, I can try to get this uh, pneumatic control assist to give me a little more maneuverability. And paint jobs. I can look at that real quick if you're interested. Here's the winter, marine, desert, summer, and I just went with, uh, you know, universal. This may be biased, but <laughs> it seems like a lot of the Russian planes always get the coolest paint jobs. Uh, that would make sense to me. But if you see some American, German, British, they're just kind of boring. But it seems like the Russians have so many cool... The Russian and Japanese, I think, have the best paint jobs. So it looks pretty cool, you know, but I just went with uh, Universal. I don't really fly this too much. It's just every once in a while I'll take it out. That kind of uh, sort of thing. So that's just a basic kind of rundown of, of this plane. And I want to pull up a few clips of, in replays to show uh, the, the things I was talking about, show the altitude, the firepower, uh, its maneuverability, and also uh, its speed. Let's go with that. All right, so I have the LAC-4 here in a tier four match. As you can see, it's only a three objective match with a lot of tier threes. So I'm basically top tier. And I just wanna show how uh, I went and attacked this sector. And as you can see, I'm gonna uh, be pitted against this uh, BF-109B. I get him the first try, and then we go head to head, and then uh, you can see how the rockets work if you ever need to do a frontal assault. So let's just get into the battle here. With the altitude not being the best, it's really hard to climb to do anything. We're at 800 meters, we're already at our optimal altitude. So look how slow I'm getting, 200, I'm almost stalling out. So it's very easy to stall out on this plane. If you need to go anything with the vertical, you're gonna be struggling. So we managed to get this fairly quickly and I'm gonna drop down on this uh, school here. He's not really doing much, so he doesn't really uh, provide much of an issue for me. Come around. He's trying to dogfight, but I'm obviously more maneuverable than him. But how I mentioned, compared to other tier 4 multi rolls like that I uh, I-16 up there, uh, it's not really that good in this aircraft. So one thing I want to do here is just def defend because we have the advantage already. So I have to use all my boost to try to make an attack win on here. So we took him out. And I got some heavies above me. And look, look at how hard it is to get up there. I don't have any boost. Look how fast my speed is going down. I have... See how I, I dove down there? When you're climbing and you see you're slowing down, just kind of dip the nose down a little bit and then try again. So you kind of... It's like you're climbing upstairs. You just don't go all in one shot. You kind of do in little levels and that seems to help out a little bit. But as you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do here. I'm just almost at stalling again. And there's that BF-109 coming up behind me. I see he's coming toward me. I see he's low on HP, so I'm just going to go full frontal assault here. And he manages to set me on fire. So that's going to eat away at some of my HP. And that's going to take out my engine. So there's not much I can do against those guys up there. But we're winning, so I'm just going to defend. And look, I stalled right here. Very easy to come out, but uh, with me, myself, liking to fight in the vertical, uh, this plane does stall out very easily. So that's one thing to pay attention to. And now, as I gave this one a good rating of firepower, you can see what the firepower can do against the school right here. He 
beats him up. But still enough left to quickly take this guy out. And then at this time, I noticed the BF-109 made a beeline straight to me. So this is an instance where I'm low on HP. I don't have any type of uh, tactical performance uh, advantage on him. The only thing I have on him right now is firepower. And I'm just going to try to hit some of the rockets. That's the best choice I can do right now. If all else fails, I can not turn him. I can't. I don't have the altitude advantage or the speed. But I do have the firepower. So check this out. I'm lining up my shot. Rockets away. And I just think this looks so cool. You can see each individual rocket being fired. You could see it in midair. And the, I think that's about the third rocket or so that hits him. And that's a rocket kill. So performance wise, uh, it's definitely not the best. Uh, but if it, you ever get down to it, and if you need to fire those rockets, they're hard to hit. But when you have no other choice, they work. And now I try to uh, pull up some uh, ground attack uh, clips in the, the LAC-3 version 4. All right, so here we are going to make some uh, ground attack runs. As you can see, this is another Tier 4 game with a lot of Tier 3s. And it's the asymmetrical uh, map with the command center up north and the garrison and air base in the south. So I spawned in the north, so I'm just going to go and try to get this garrison. And uh, let's check out some uh, ground attack capabilities with the LAC-3 here. So I'm just waiting to see if anything comes up, if I see a fighter or if I see something come in sector to know to uh, react to it. But it looks clean. So I'm trying to dodge the AA fire here, and I'm going to spray four rockets at this. So I was able to do that with four. We have eight rockets, so I know I have four left. Uh, I see a little tense here. Probably didn't need to shoot rockets, but I'm shooting two. We got that. I got two rockets left, and I see this uh, armored bunker here. And we got the sector. And I'll just take out this uh, G8 here. So you see, not the most uh, amazing thing right there. But I was able to take out that ship, which is worth uh, 20 capture points. I was able to finish off with that GA. I uh, wasn't able to fully destroy. So I got points for that. The 10 I think was about 15, 10, uh, 15 or 10 and then the uh, AA bunker was about 15. So I did enough there and as you can see you can't really, you can't go into a sector and expect to take a bunch of stuff out but you can definitely mop up, uh, take out some AA sites, take out the uh, lower armed uh, ground targets but if you're going for the medium armored or the, the regular targets for this one I don't think you're going to be that successful with those rockets but definitely the ones that has a lot of the uh, the tents you can definitely probably throw six at that the ones with four tents you can probably throw two to four but as you can see you could I could take out a battleship there and you just kind of have to be a, a pick and choose your battles of when you want to start laying down some ground targets and my kind of rule of thumb with this Rule of thumb is if I can use my ordnance to capture the sector, I'll do it. So if if this sector's uh, the red has almost captured it, I'm not going to be attacking it on the ground, spend a lot of time there to try to get it all the way from red to neutral and then back to blue. I'm really only using it uh, to kind of do the last few points I need to capture to capture a sector. So that was the little clip of a uh, ground attack capabilities and now we'll go to the final uh, section where I give it a score according to my made up Kunstler scale. All right.
All right, so to conclude this review, I made this funny thing up. I'm just going to call it the Kunstler scale. Uh, it goes with my name, Panzer Kunst, so Kunstler scale. And on each of the four elements that I rated on, altitude, speed, firepower, turn, I give it a rating out of five. So basically, I just plop these on here, add them all up, and we get a, a score of 15. And on the left, just gave like a basic rundown, 70 to 20. It's basic, it's Uber. Basically, it's really good. Uh, 13 to 16, pretty good. That's good, you know. 10 to 12, meh, you can take it or leave it. It's If you particularly like that plane, you know, maybe it's, it's okay. But as far as performance-based, it's just kind of in the middle of the road. And anything, line or less, I'm just going to call it garbage. So let's see how much of these I can do, but I don't know. I just think this is funny to me. It's funny to me. <laughs> so final verdict, the LAG 3 Series 4 gets a 15 on my scale. That's good. Uh, I wouldn't say go out and buy it, but if you just want a little Tier 4 multi-roll, and if you could uh, train up, I mean, not train up, but upgrade the rockets a little bit, you can definitely do some damage, as I showed in the video. And it was probably my first premium that I got. And it's just a nice little nice little plane, kind of a relaxing type of thing. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's my first review. And uh, hopefully, we'll see how these go. All right. Peace.